Apex Media is at Aircraft Interiors Expo 2019 this week, and right now I'm joined with Yop and Martin from Airfy. They are Apex members and a big success story in the portable IFB business, are you not? <laughs> Absolutely. We're extremely proud to, um, to have the Lion Air Group as uh, part of our uh, clientele membership together with our partner Airfy Indonesia. Mm -hmm. And um, that's our biggest announcement uh, for, for this trade show. That's the big story of the week, the Lion Air Group. It's absolutely the big story of the week. Yeah. Okay. Um, so how many aircraft are we talking about? How many of these nifty little boxes will be providing IFE to their passengers? So we're working on the exact number of the boxes, but it's uh, of course a lot for 215 uh, aircraft wow. uh, in, the, in the first wave. Um, five different airlines in three different countries. Right. Uh, all, of course, uh, around uh, Indonesia. Uh, it's it's, it's uh, uh, quite an operation to roll it out as soon as possible, since the Lion Group is, uh, is uh, very excited uh, to give uh, IAV to their passengers and, uh, and start making ancillary revenues uh, uh, from this channel as well. Okay, and this is a non-connected aircraft, I'm assuming, but the, the air flight box can be connected as well. Yes, uh, so the, for the liner group we will do that we have multiple models yep. to operate on. This is the bring on, bring off board model as the box fits within a trolley drawer like an Atlas container. Um, the earlier um, an announcements we did for instance with Sun Country in the USA, that's more our face product, fully autonomous, semi-embedded product, where the box can actually be re remained on board of the aircraft and is like semi-installed with um, with uh, with the power with the power supply too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let's talk a little bit about production. Obviously, this is a big announcement. You're going to need a lot of these little guys, um, and you produce this product in Holland. Uh, so, how are you going to handle the ramp up for this? Well, obviously, the, um, this this kind of assignment doesn't come as a surprise. Um, uh, so, we we our, our factory is very well capable of of producing these kind of numbers of boxes. Mm. Um, so uh, we've been pre-producing for a while already um, and our, our capacity can easily handle that so that let's say in a, in a 12 to 40 week period we, we have these kind of um, uh, airlines uh, in, installed. That's, that's still um, our, always our promise to our customers that within 10 to 14 weeks we should be able to launch fleet wide. That's something that we're aiming for. It's not a promise in this case because this is very big. But with, with in general, we do that, and with that, our factories are also being equipped to, to uh, fulfill that promise. Okay, and can we talk a little bit about the LEO uh, connectivity solution that you're displaying over here, the, the window antenna, and how's everything coming along with that? Well, that comes along quite nicely, to be honest. Yeah. Um, it, uh, it's fair to say that um, um, the application of such an antenna um, uh, has been on the market for a while with various players, so it's not an invention like it was with the Air Firebox uh, back in 2015, so the credit does need to go to other people. Um, but we, we again put a big sauce, an Air Fire sauce on top of it by, by actually having a, 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 a part of our service as where the receiver is being built into our product um, and where the product is still uh, Wi-Fi based and browser based uh, within our uh, within our browser environment uh, passengers are able to send messages to the ground to any of the forms of messaging like iMessage, WhatsApp, SMS etc and they receive the messages back within their own environment during flight yeah. and that's the first minimal viable product for from a passenger point of view obviously bringing uh, payment data up and down to, to, uh, to the ground for validating payments um, gate changes, gate information, all that kind of applications they will be added on top creating a, a very complete product um, with a very lightweight kind of connectivity while it's still a messaging service but the, the, the price and the barrier to entry for um, our type of clientele is very favorable compared to the, the more expensive uh, solutions out there that might give you an internet connection but in our belief that's not directly the need of um, of, uh, of their passengers. Right. And of course, this is also an AirFi product which does not require an SDC. It's a minor mod, it's overnight installable. So we can very fast deploy this on any type of, uh, and any size of fleet. Why does it not require an SDC? Because we are still not attaching 
or screwing or uh, drilling holes in aircraft. For the um, antenna? For the antenna. Really? The antenna really fits easily in the frame of an uh, inside the window. Okay. Um, and with uh, a wired connection to the box, we're providing uh, uh, overnight connectivity. So the, the aircraft can be installed in just a few hours uh, while waiting for the next day uh, to fly again with passengers and make passengers happy on the, uh, uh, to, to send their messages. And you've announced Atlantic Airways as the launch customer for that, that you're hoping to sort of get it done towards the end of this year? No, no, end of this month. Oh, the end of this month? Yes, okay, the, the end of this month will be the first flights. Obviously, it's uh, we uh, Hamburg is always a place where you want to show the latest of the latest. Yeah. Um, and um, by the end of this month, beginning in May, we'll have the first, uh, hopefully with the, if the planning also with Atlantic Airways is, is going uh, as, as, as they wish, um, we'll be having the first aircraft equipped and the first min uh, applications also supplied to the passengers. And then um, the full-fledged um, new version of our hardware that is empowered with this receiver that will be released to the rest of the market in Q4. Well, yeah. we get an opportunity to try it out once it's uh, up and running. Yeah, and it's just like an IKEA box, right? It's it comes with the, the, the antenna. It comes with the entire service bulletins and the little pictures and, and the little almost it. like the little pictures for engineering and maintenance. Uh, but the cool thing is, it doesn't have any screws. Yeah. So you cannot get lost by having one screw left after you assembled your uh, your kit. So that's that's the that's how you should look at it. Um, it's again worries without any worries for engineering maintenance without STCs all of that. Yeah. So pretty much taken care of by our partner ADC who's who's doing all that work. Super. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your time today, guys. Thank you thank for you your time. Thank you.